Hi, my name is Dave LaBelle. I am a photographer and a writer, an editor, a storyteller. I've been a lot of things right now. A father, a brother, a son. I think I might, I feel like I've touched all the bases in life. I had a dream 50 years ago, the first time that I really opened the Bible in earnest and started reading the stories, particularly the stories in the Gospels. I had a dream of wanting to be able to use, wanting to use the skills that God has blessed me with as a storyteller, as a visual storyteller. I wanted to be an artist. I wanted to, I wanted to be able to take what I saw and felt when I looked at those scenes and transfer that into a photographic product that people could connect to. I put that dream on hold for so many years, 50 years because I was afraid. I was afraid that I couldn't do it. I was afraid that I'm a documentary photographer and, a, and an observer. I'm not a choreographer. I'm not an illustrator. That's not what I do. But I realize now that I, I'm, I've been able to overcome that fear and I'm ready to go forward with this. One thing I realized is that to be a photojournalist for over 50 years, it, it, it has been sort of an internship in, in the study of human emotion. I have witnessed so many wonderful and difficult scenes in my life. You know, I've watched the birth of human beings. I've watched the death of human beings. I've watched the grief spread across a mother's face as she watched the body of her son be pulled to the surface of a river. That horrific, horrific image. But all these images and all these experiences have become kind of a visual library for me to be able to draw on. So as I'm going forward and I'm looking at the stories that I want to tell about Christ, I'm going to be drawing from that visual library. I'm going to be drawing from those expressions, those that myriad of expressions that I photographed that I've been collecting for 50 years. And now's the time. I had a, a couple of events in the last year. I, I guess the best way to just say they were life-threatening events. And they caused me to, to consider my mortality even more than I normally do. And what they reminded me of is what I already knew, that we don't have a lot of time. And if we're going to do the things that we really believe in and that we think are meaningful, if we're going to make contributions that we think is go are going to make the world better, we better do them now. Uh, I'm reminded, as I often am reminded, what Moses wrote in the Old Testament when he said, Oh, Lord, teach us to number our days that we might apply our hearts to wisdom. I try to live by that. But again, I've been reminded of that more in the last year. Um, we're fragile creatures. <laughs> it's a kind of an iron. I mean, it, it's a paradox, really. In one sense, we're very fragile. In another sense, we're very tough and very strong. But at the core, we're here as sojourners. We're traveling through. We're not here forever. And I'm not going to be here forever. And I want to, I want to be able to leave. I want to have a legacy of leaving good relationships with people. I want to have a legacy of images that, that stir people to do good, that are about love and hope and compassion and mercy. And I'm not a war photographer. I'm not, I don't want to cover bad news. I want, to, I want to go down in history. I want someone to say, that, you know, he was a compassionate photographer. And he was naive. He believed that seeing good begets good. That the more good we see, the more love we see, the more apt people are going to be to imitate that. I have believed that most of my life, and I still believe that. And now I want to go forward with this project. I want to, be, I want to go forward as an artist. Uh, with the help of God, I want to be able to show people what I see and what I feel with these encounters, you know, those encounters with Jesus, particularly in the Gospels. 
whatever I do, I want it to glorify God. And I pray that this does glorify God. So if you are inclined, I would love to have you come walk with me. We're going to be putting up uh, some more details on this on my website on davidlabelle.com uh, very soon. But this on the eve of my 70th birthday, I felt this was a good time to just to share this with you. For those of you that have been following me so many years and let you know, you know, kind of what I'm up to. What I would like to do with the time that I have left. I thank you for your support through the years. I thank you for your understanding and your forgiveness. Uh, and again, I ask uh, if you're so inclined to come walk with me. Thank you.